Welcome back to Bullet Catcher Gaming. It's uh, Lee Gurfy Sausage 76 here. Um, we are going to be looking at the Evo, the Scorpion Evo 3, rather. Um, right, so the Scorpion is a 9mm uh, carbine manufactured by a Czech Republican company. I cannot, for the life of me, pronounce the, uh, the manufacturer's name. Um, it just will not roll off the tongue. Uh, right, okay, so it is a 9mm weapon. Uh, it was first introduced in 2009 and is still in operation up to today. Uh, it's operated by several law enforcement agencies across the world. Um, okay, so it, uh, it fires 9mm, uh, 9mm Parabellum, and it's got a blowback action. And its rate of fire is around about 1150 rounds a minute uh, with a muzzle velocity of 370 meters a second. And that is huge. Uh, its feed system is mag, uh, box mag with a variety 20, 30 uh, or even 10 if you want to go that low. Uh, I don't know what the uh, effective range is. I would imagine it's between 100 and 300 meters being as it's 9 mil it's a fairly slow moving round uh, maximum range no idea maybe 400 meters who knows okay so this is it not a bad looking weapon uh, I've set it up obviously it's got a pistol grip at the front or foregrip uh, PEQ15 laser designator suppressor and a digital sight it's also got a folding stock for ease of use in CQB situations uh, so making it an all round nifty bit of kit this is how I'm going to have my setup today as you can see I've got some upgrades due but I'm going to leave it as it is at the moment this uh, also is a request by Andy uh, who is seditious trooper from the team on uh, bullet catcher gaming right in usual setting no interruptions no enemies no drones flying over okay so we'll start off uh, we're at 25 meters at the moment um, we are going to do the usual test, a single shot and then full auto with and without suppressor and then 10 rounds well aimed and then we'll go off to 50 metres um, uh, sorry 100 metres and, and see what the effective range is at 100 metres compared to 25 this weapon doesn't have a uh, single shot, it's only got 3 round burst or full auto so forgive me if a round or two gets let off by mistake right ok Let's actually take it off. Uh, oh. yes, no chance of getting one round off. That's pretty ridiculous. Okay, so anyway, we've tried. Let's go full auto and see what happens. Um, wow. <laughs> That's mental. Mag change there. Time's around about three seconds as well. So standard across most ARs. Uh, and submachine guns. Right, so let's put the suppressor on. Let's see if we can get a single round off uh, well aimed. Hey, there we go. Right, okay, full auto with the suppressor. Okay, right, let's put the drone up and have a look. See how we get on. Yeah, pretty standard, same pattern with and without. You've got your single shot and then on full auto, fairly tight grouping as the weapon kicks off left, right and then obviously as the muzzle um, recoil takes the muzzle up, it starts to spread out but not massively, there's still a tight grouping even though the, the muzzle's going up in the air so it's going to be a kill or destroy whatever it is you're firing at. Okay, right, so we've got a new mag in, let's take the suppressor off, if we can try 10 rounds. suppressor on move over to the right slightly let's change the mag now okay let's have a look with the drone see how we fare yeah, it's nice tight grouping with the suppressor it's slightly tighter grouping than without it but nonetheless, centre mass, 
you're going to get a kill with 10 rounds. Right. Okay, let's go off to 100 metres then and see uh, see how we get on. I was going to do it at 50, but I think 50 is still quite close. See what it's like at 100 metres. So we ran about here. Right, let's put the drone up and have a butcher's. Yeah, we're not far off. Just back, back, back. There we go. Right, let's mark it. And we are yeah, excellent. Right, groovy. Okay, let's take the suppressor off. I think we'll have to use the sight on this one. Okay, so let's see if we can get one round off. Yeah, and then full auto from here. Ah, where are the rounds going everywhere. Right, just change the mag. Suppressor. <coughs> Single shot. And then... Yeah, the round's going off into the uh, roof of the shed there. Right, let's have a look and see how we get on. Yeah, it's... Uh, got more chance of hitting a barn door. You see, although... Well, no, I take my first aim there without the suppressor fairly low, but you can see the rounds are spread out. Initially on the uh, full auto, you've got a tight grouping swinging off to the left, and then obviously God knows where those rounds are. They're sprayed all over the place. The same with the suppressor on. So at 100 metres, you're getting a fairly spread. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, let's see how we get on then. Let's take the suppressor off. Change the mag. Right. Okay, so <laughs> someone suggested or made a comment in a video before that oh, you're not using a marker. If anyone with f real firearms training, you fire a round off, you're never going to have your sights back on target exactly where you fired that round before so you've got to adjust doesn't matter who you are or how good you think you are you've always got to adjust and to get your sights back on target where you want to put them rounds so let's try 10 rounds then shall we right. ok let's put the suppressor on Then. Right, okay, let's have a look then. That's uh, still not bad. That is not bad at all. From that distance, that's that's similar to some of the ARs out there. That's not bad at all. You're still going to kill 10 rounds into someone's chest. You're going to get a kill. So, not bad. For a 9mm at that distance, uh, 25 metres and then 100 metres, that's not bad, uh, 10 rounds well aimed. Okay, so there we have it, that is the Scorpion Evo 3, uh, with full auto, single shot and then 10 rounds well aimed, with and without suppressor at 25 metres and then the same again at 100 metres. Uh, it's a fairly accurate weapon when you're using single shot at 100 metres, but if you're spraying rounds all over the place at 100 metres on full auto, you're uh, you're not going to get uh, you're not going to get shots on target really at full auto from that distance. But single single rounds, yeah, you're gonna you, you'll be all right. But I think there we have it. The, the Scorpion Evo at 100 meters on full auto, not the ideal weapon to have. Close range, obviously, it's a CQB weapon really. Close quarters. Um, I think you'd you'd be fine with that weapon if that's what you choose for CQB stuff. Um, stick to ARs and sniper rifles for long distance stuff I think hope you've enjoyed the video, hope you found it informative uh, hit the like and subscribe if you so wish we'd appreciate all your support for those that are currently subscribing uh, leave a comment in the comment section below uh, for any suggestions or any comments on the video greatly appreciated, positive or negative you know we don't take it personally uh, your views are yours and obviously ours are ours um, as I say again, thanks for watching, stay safe out there everybody and uh, take care.